In this video, I'm going to set up my image planes in Maya using the model sheet images that I just created. And the first thing here is that you can see I've created a project folder um, within Maya. I set my project to this folder. I'm not really going to go over the details of that here. That's not the point of this video, but I'm going to go in my source images and I'm just going to plop my two um, model sheets in there. Now, these have horrible names um, from being exported out of um, Photoshop automatically, so you'd want to make sure that you're keeping these clear. Even if it's not, you know, even if you're the only person going to be working on this, you still want to make sure it's staying organized. Oh, and I named those backwards. So now those are back to normal. Um, okay, so um, in Maya, I'm going to go to create free image plane. And on the first one, I can just go to my attribute editor and then go to the file uh, image name and I'll make myself my front one and here's why we wanted to um, save these out as a PNG with the robot himself actually um, colored in so that he appears just as a um, kind of a cutout uh, on a transparent background and um, I could either just duplicate this or just create a new one and load in my side view. Now here we can actually see them on top of each other and it does seem like I did a fairly decent job. Not not completely good, not completely perfect, but a fairly decent job of um, getting them to be the right size. There are always going to be a little bit of, uh, unless you really really are being meticulous about um, your, uh, your art uh, while you're drawing it, then it's going to be um, pretty common that there's going to be a few errors and whatnot with your image uh, references, your model sheet. Um, but this looks pretty good, and as you can see, when I have them kind of crisscrossing each other perpendicular, um, they seem to be mostly lining up. So I'm going to take my side view. You see I rotated it 90 degrees. I'm going to put that over there. This one I'm going to put over here. And so basically I'm going to model looking towards the negative x axis um, for the side and towards the negative z axis for uh, the front because in Maya terms at least um, z is usually depth um, and x is usually width. Um, now one little quick thing here, keep in mind that um, your scene scale by default will be in centimeters so right now um, if I left my images only this large, then um, I would be basically creating a only a few centimeters high version of my robot. And because I want some want my modeling tools to work at a little bit of a bigger scale, and I just want my character to be a larger scale in general, I don't want him to be tiny. I'm going to scale these up a little bit so he's not only a few centimeters tall. I'm going to try to place him so that uh, his feet are sitting on the um, bottom grid rather than his torso being halfway through it. I don't want um, my character's torso to be cutting through the scene center. I want his feet to be on the grid when I model him. And now I just push them back into the distance. Now the last thing that I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break up my uh, viewport into a different setup that's going to be easier to model. Um, so I'm going to go to Panels, and I'm going to Layouts, and I'm going to change this to um, probably three panes split bottom uh, or split top. Honestly, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. But the reason I'm doing this is so that I can make the bottom one the perspective view, and I can make the top one. If I go through orthographic, I can make that the front, and then if I go to the orthographic here, and I can go through the side. And now we can see that um, these are lining up. Um, so I believe um, that's all that I need to do in this video to, to start uh, blocking out my character. Uh, or sorry, to start getting ready to block out my character. And if you do the same thing that I did here, then you should be in pretty good shape for starting to block out your character. In the next video, we'll actually start doing the block.